accomplished songwriter and Grammy-winning producer, and he just happens to be the frontman for the band One Republic. Their third studio album, Native, drops today. Please welcome back to the buzz, Ryan Tedder. Yeah. 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 That's right, you get them all woken up this morning. That's right, wake up. All right, so the album leaked. Yes. But you very nicely asked everyone just not to pay attention. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think it's really nice. I mean, you might as well you... acknowledge it. You can't say, hey, our album didn't leak today. Nope, nope. <laughs> Whatever you see, it's not us. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So. <laughs> and were people nice enough not to listen? Yeah, I mean, our, I think a lot of our like true fans really came out and started almost this campaign of don't download it. Or some people are saying, yo, I downloaded it, but I'm still buying it. I mean, I already pre-ordered it. They like take snapshots of their iTunes proving they bought it. And we promised, uh, I made a guarantee that to anybody, actually I'll make the guarantee right now. Oh. Anybody that actually buys this album legally, a lifetime of happiness and prosperity, financial prosperity for the rest of your life. That's serious. I don't know many other, I don't know many other acts or bands or albums that come with that kind of guarantee. You're magic if you oh. can actually make that happen. But the worst part is, is that um, you just gave me one, so does that mean it doesn't count? It's actually null and void, but you, I mean, look, Damn. if you look at the gig that you have here, clearly you don't need any help. You're doing just fine. Oh, well, thank you. I suppose I can spend $20. I'll just give you the 20 bucks so I can... No, that's I'm fine. paying for the, the love fine. and charity yeah. and all that stuff. Um, now, you actually, you delayed a little bit the release of this because you went to Coachella. Yeah, well, I, I like how you made the connection there. Um, because of Coachella, I delayed our... Uh, well, what happened was... You had I, way too much fun is what I happened. I did have a lot of fun. That was actually one of the best. We, I'm so sick that I won't be there this year. Um, but uh, we went to Coachella last year. I performed with uh, Sebastian Grosso of Swedish House Mafia. And I did a song with him last, uh, last year. In any event, I went. one of my favorite bands is Radiohead. I love the Black Keys, um, Bonnie Vera, all the other acts. And I went excited about Radiohead. And I was like, Swedish House Mafia is going to be cool too, but I'm excited about Radiohead. Swedish House Mafia blew everybody off the stage, in my, in my opinion. Like, um, not being a card-carrying, like, electronic EDM fan at the time, I was converted that weekend. Um, I changed religions, and, <laughs> and I ended up uh, calling Sebastian, saying I want to do a song that's, like, as a band that captures the energy of, like, your guys' music, but I want it to still sound organic and sound like a band. So If I Lose Myself, which is our single now, was inspired by Swedish House Mafia. How cool is that? Yeah. Welcome to the dark side. Yeah, or are the, you? The yeah. EDM side. You're an EDM fan then. You know, I, and I'm a new EDM fan. I, I didn't really know what it was up until, I don't know, it's maybe an, it was It was an STD until oh, about two right. years ago, but now it's... Well, I'm allergic to penicillin, so, right. I well, mean, you know, there's only screwed. so much you can do to you're cure screwed. it. That's right. You are a card-carrying fan <laughs> yeah. then. Yeah. Now, uh, what is this I hear about um, you're hanging out in Australia, doing some yeah. big shows? I was down under for a little bit. Um, the last year, I got approached by... Uh, few of the music talent shows, you know, without naming them all, but uh, the, voice, the voice was one of them, and um, I, I couldn't, in my brain process, try, you know, being a judge at, the, at that point in, in, you know, last year, trying to finish an album, and then even consider doing that on a show, uh, but then about a month and a half ago, um, they approached me uh, to be a mentor for about a week, so I went down and did it, a week in Sydney, paid for by uh, some what is it, Channel 9, whoever the, the network is down there, so we, we couldn't turn it down. How fun. Yeah, it was amazing. Was it everything you wanted it to be? It's awesome. I've been to Sydney before, uh, but I never actually spent that like concentrated amount of time there. Um, it was amazing. I got to say, the thing that blew me the way the, uh, the most, it was like, I think it was in, in uh, uh, trying to get Ricky Martin, Seal, Joel Madden, Delta Goodrum. Those are the four judges or coaches. The thing that blew me away the most about the experience down there was how intense their work schedule is. We'd show up at 10, 15 a.m., and they'd wrap us at 1 a.m., and you'd have about 30 minutes off in that entire time period. So you're just, by the end of the day, you're done. That's I mean, crazy. Yeah, they go. You think that it's just kind of like an easy gig, but the second you're done with all these contestants, then you're, then you're doing interviews, and, you know, it's nonstop. So is that how they, they just push you to that point so that you can be very judgy? <laughs> I think pretty much because by the end you're just you're you, you know you can't even handle an ounce of BS so you're just gonna <laughs> say it like it is and um, uh, yeah it was phenomenal but the, the cool thing is if you cram as much as you can into one day then you have days off and I, I flew from Sydney to Stockholm which was an interesting experience. That's a long trip. Yeah, it's the two. It's pretty much the two, almost the, the two furthest to point, furthest apart points on Earth that you could fly, you know, 
fly in between. And you just thought that that was the right thing to do that after a long like a work schedule. Idea. Exactly. <laughs> At least you knew you could sleep, right? I pulled up Google Maps. I thought, what maps? I thought, what would screw me the most? <laughs> Stockholm. Let's go. Good. Where's, where to next then? <laughs> uh, where, I came here from Vienna yesterday, so. Oh, God. Okay. I'm still, yeah. <laughs> you need to go to bed is what you need to do. Thank yeah. you for coming. Uh, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me.